Welcome back guys, this is the abstract reasoning section The section that I'm most excited about to teach Because uh, one, I have the most resources for Two, it's probably one of the easiest sections Given you follow what I tell you And there's nothing more to it than that Now, dispelling any misconceptions or misinformed people This section is a section you can actually revise for Some people say it's natural Some people say it's just I was born with it basically natural but many people who say that are lying to you they probably don't want the best for you if they're taking it in the same year if they are in the year above you or two years above you or potentially are a doctor it could be that they have been gifted with an ability to spot patterns that some people are not so again those are one-off cases and I wouldn't rely upon people's testimony so right now i'm basically negating myself but you can trust me on this one now with this section it's vital that you systematically place questions over a period of time don't think that one day of abstract reasoning before the exam will somehow allow you to get a score of 800 you are deceived your brain needs to process the information for this section differently by this i mean that your brain has to recognize patterns in a different way now the way that we're usually tested in schools is it's a linear curriculum so there's a lot of reading there's a lot of mathematics a lot of science this section essentially if you wanted to compare it it's like the cat test that was present actually now you say it uk cat oh i i get i get a similarity emphasizing the point this section is very very abstract hence abstract reasoning and so it's important upon doing the questions on Medify that you assess the reasons for why you got them right and the reasons for why you got them wrong because it could be the case that you simply guess and you haven't understood the reason whether it's a conditional case whether it's because of the arrows present whether it's because the positioning is relative to each other and whether there are 90 degrees and whether the shape is concave convex and so on and so forth so emphasizing this point it is vital that you check the reasons for why you've got them right and the reasons for why you've got them wrong and that you take note of it and do remember that the there will always be patterns that you will not understand and no matter how much you practice you need to remember that there will be probably patterns that you've never seen and that you probably will never get so you need to realize when to skip on to the next question the moment you have a mindset that I need to answer this question it doesn't matter whether if I answer the questions that come after it you are preparing yourself to fail and and that's why sometimes I'm telling you no matter how cliche it sounds that you need to move on if you have very minimal time i have an ebook that is present in the link description and that's my killer 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 tips essentially i explained them in the video but there are some tips in there that i haven't really explained basically catch you guys on the other side why is it all